we give honor to our God on Good Friday. Amen. Can we give God a great hand on Good Friday? Amen. On, on Good Friday. Amen. And we're grateful for our children as well as our guests to come. And we're excited about uh, what God is getting ready to do uh, in this place on tonight. Uh, call to worship. Amen. If you stand all over the building, let us sing a hymn tonight. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my umber, my umber cry. Amen. I'm trying, I'm trying to find that number. And uh, we'll get that. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear Why sooner do die a call, calling, do not pass me by, I'm calling you, say, oh, say. Pass me by, let me at the throne of mercy, mercy. find a sweet relief, kneeling there in deep country. Description, hear my unbelief, I'm calling you, say, oh, Savior, hear my arm cry. not pass one more time I'm calling you Savior say oh say hear my arm why on the Calling, do pass me by. God bless you. Come on, give God a great hand as you go to your seat. Our deacons now is going to come and lead us in our time of devotion. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's good to be here tonight. Amen. 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 I'm just excited to see what the kids are going to do tonight. Amen. 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 I'll be reading from Matthew 28, 1 through 7. Amen. And the Bible reads as following. And in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to the scepter. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raven was like white as snow. And for fear of him, the keeper did shake and become as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear ye not, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. 
Come see the place where he laid his head, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and behold, he goeth forth before you unto Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. Amen. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. God is good. And all the time, let us go to God in prayer. Most heavenly, gracious Father, Father, your darling son, Jesus' name, we want to just thank you for your son, Jesus, Father. Father, we want to thank you for the many blessings that we are receiving. Father, we just can't thank you enough for all that he has done and all that he is doing for us, Father. Father, we thank you for him doing those work that he is doing at first our part, Father. We thank you, Father, for him bringing those out tonight. Just, just come out to be a part of your service tonight, Father. Then, Father, we ask you to touch them with the finger of love that they're standing in need of, Father. Then, Father, we ask you, Father, to look among the pews, Father. And if that be sickness, Father, we ask that you touch with your finger of love, Father, as only you can, Father. Father, we can't thank you enough again for all that you're doing, Father. We ask that you bless, Father, in your darling son, Jesus' name. We pray and we do say, amen. 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 Long ago. I didn't know nothing about Jesus and his love. I had heard about him, but this matter that comes from above. In this life of sin, I can no longer stand. I asked my mother, how do I get to know the man? She said, you must be. Don't you see, you got to be born again. Oh. You must have that fire and Holy Ghost, that burning thing that keeps the prayer from turning, that kind of religion. You cannot conceive, it makes you move, it makes you shout, it makes you cry when it's real, Lord. I've got my hand right in the winding chain, my soul's been Anchor in my Jesus name, you know I'm filled with it. I'm free from sin. No, I've been born again. Whoa, you must have that fire, Holy Ghost, that burning thing that keeps the prayer from turning. That kind of religion. You cannot conceive. It makes you move. It makes you shout. It makes you cry when it's real, Lord. I've got my hand right in the wine and change. My soul's been anchored in my Jesus' name. You know I'm filled with it. I'm free from sin. I know I've been born again. Good evening. Good evening. Tonight I will be you guys' program guy. Tonight's theme is Must Jesus Bear the Cross Alone? The scripture will be from Luke chapter 23, verse 26. Now we have a selection by our youth choir.
now we will have the welcome by Brother Trayvon Washington. Good Friday, the Friday before Easter Sunday, the day on which Christians annually observe the commemoration of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. John 1930. Good evening, everyone. Amen. To our pastor, our first lady, other ministers, fellowship members, and invited guests who have come to celebrate with us on this Easter Good Friday, let me take this opportunity to welcome each each and every one of you to our church. It is my hope and prayer that you all be blessed as you enjoy this great, wonderful program that we've prepared on this day. Once again, on behalf of the little church with a big heart where a stranger meets a friend and Jesus Christ meets us all, you all are welcome. He did such a wonderful job welcoming us. Now we have acceptance of welcome by visitors. Do we have anyone visiting with us tonight? Amen. Okay. All right, we don't have no big. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Bible verses, God's little children. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, John 1, 29. He is not here. He had risen just like he said. Matthew 28, 6. Jesus Christ is always the same. Hebrews 13, 6. Yeah, Jesus do love me, for the Bible tells me so. Children did such a good job. Can we give them another hand clap again? <laughs> now we will have a poem by Brother Christian Bradfield. have to hang it on the cross if you have a secret sorrow a burden or a loss an aching need for healing hang it on the cross if worry steals your sleep and makes you turn and toss if your heart is feeling heavy hang it on the cross every obstacle to faith to doubt your com you come across every prayer unanswered Hang it on the cross. For Christ has borne our brokenness and dearly paid the cost. 
to turn our trials into triumph, hang it on the cross. Thank you. Up next, we will have a song by the youth choir. skits the last supper at the cross two thieves and we also have a prayer dance selection by sister lauren jackson and sister ayana williams
When it was evening, Jesus took his place at the table with the 12 apostles. Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. Sure to know, Lord. Sure to know, The one who has dipped their hands in the bowl with me will betray me. Surely not, sorry, Rabbi. You have said so. Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after giving thanks and blessings, he broke it and gave it to his disciples. Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. Then Jesus picked up his cup and gave thanks. This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant of my blood. It is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. The disciples began to argue about which of them was the greatest. I'm 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 the greatest. No, I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. No, I'm the greatest. The greatest must become like the youngest. The youngest must become like one who serves. For who is greater? The one at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. The apostles were all very sad for arguing with one another. You will all become deserters because of me. For it is written that I will strike the shepherd and the flock will be scattered. But I will raise up and go ahead of you. To Galilee. I will not desert you. No, I will not desert you. 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 Truly, I tell you. For this, this for this theory. night. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. I will not deny you. 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 After the Lord's Supper, Jesus was arrested and crucified.
Etamin. During the crucifixion, Jesus hung on his cross between two thieves. One believed and one did not. What's the difference between you and me, huh? What's the difference? Because I don't see it. We're both shrunk up here till we die. Criminals on a cross. What did you do wrong, preacher man, huh? You, I know who you think you are. You think you're God. You told everyone you were God himself. But you're bleeding to death, just like me. If you're a God, why don't you come down from that cross and save me while you're at it? Save yourself. Save me. Save me. My body's breaking. But you know that already, don't you? You know how this feels. If you're a God, you wouldn't be here. Out of all places, God wouldn't be here. I'm just a thief on the cross, so he wouldn't be here. What's the difference between you and me? We are both strong up here until we die. I'm a criminal on the cross, but what did you do wrong? Nothing. I know you are who you say you are. You're a God, and you bleed it to death just like me. Jesus, when you leave here, when he takes you, please, please take me. Save me. My body is breaking, but you know that, don't you? Yours is, too. You know how this feels. You're a God, and of all places, you're here with me. I'm a thief on the cross, and you chose to be here with me. Save me from this deal. Save me from this life. Thanks for nothing. Thank you, Lord.
death could not hold him. Hallelujah, death could not hold him. church family just did so good tonight with all the skits that they did. I am so proud of them. Now we will have the introduction of our guest speaker, my pastor, Terry L. Davis. Well, amen. amen. Can we put our hands together and get God glory in the house? He is worthy of all of our praise. Come on, give our children. Come on, come on, give our children some encouragement in here. Amen. Amen. Come on, bless them. Come on, bless them in this house. Amen. What a marvelous job. I tell you, did a super job, super job tonight, and I came in and and uh, saw that table set up with the glasses. I was, hey man, I meant to set it up like that on first Sunday and we set the table there. Ah uh, man, what a, what a joy. Thank you all. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very, so very much. Hey amen. Hey amen. We're going to do a little change in here. Hey amen. Go higher in the spirit. Hey amen. Hey amen. I brought a few move this, uh, the cross right over there. Uh, Cause Jeremy and I are about the same height, so, <laughs> and so, all right. So, uh, Amen. That's a little better. Amen. amen. All right, man. Y'all did a children. Y'all did a great job. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so very, so very much. Amen. 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 What are we gonna do before the preacher come? Uh, I got the offering after that, but I think we wanna do it now. Amen. So that uh, uh, when uh, he is finished preaching, we won't have to worry about asking you for an offering. Amen. 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 So has God has purpose in your heart. Amen. To give. Amen. We want you to do that and give a good, good Friday, a good Friday, a good, good Friday offering. Amen. I'm grateful, grateful to have, uh, uh, I guess I'm going to call him a son, a grandson in the ministry. Uh, Amen, amen. He he was. I've been knowing Jeremy ever since he was about two or three years old. He was. He had he had little old drumsticks over there about tall as he was. Right. Amen. But I've watched him grow up, and uh, I served as his pastor for 24 years. Amen. amen. When I left him, he was on the drums, but now he's in the pulpit. Right. Amen. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful to have him with us tonight. 
uh, grateful to have uh, uh, the church that I served for 24 years, the Pilgrim Rest Church family. Amen. Amen. Glad to have them in the house tonight. Amen. I, I do believe that they have some singers in the house. And uh, as you give your offering, amen, you can get where you're going to sing, uh, whether you're going to sing from the choir stand or from the front. Uh, it will be left up to you. And after we have given, I will come and officially introduce our speaker for tonight. Amen. The Lord do love the cheer forgive him. Amen. You are now in the direction of our, our ushers as well as our deacon ministry. Let us pray. Uh, Lord God, it's again that we come, and certainly, Lord God, we come in the mighty, miraculous name of Jesus Christ. Now, Lord God, we come asking uh, that you bless this offering, Lord God. We ask that you bless those who gave, those who might have desired to give, who might not have had anything to give. Then, as always, Lord God, we just pray, Lord God, as followers of you, Lord God, that we are good stewards and use it in a way that's pleasing uh, to you, certainly for your upkeep of your kingdom here on earth. These are another blessing we do ask, and thanks we give you. In your darling son, Jesus Christ's name, we do pray. Amen. Amen. Well, amen. Amen. All right. All right. You ready? Check it out. All right. All right. Yeah, good. All right, let me officially, officially here, uh, introduce our preacher for tonight. Again, he's, he's my grandson, son, grandson in the ministry. Amen. Been knowing him ever since he was knee high to a duck. Amen. A good brother. I've watched him grow up and, and, and been watching him from afar. Amen. Amen. Although I had not been there watching him personally, I've been, I've been getting good, good reports on him. Amen. And the work that he's doing in the ministry, he is under the leadership of my son at the Pilgrim Rest Baptist Church. Amen. Pastor Kenny Ray. Amen. Pastor Kenny Ray Skipper, glad to have him with us tonight. Amen. What's the Skipper at tonight? With the mother. Okay. All right. All right. Grateful to have them with us. Uh, mother Alzena. Amen. Skipper's in the house. Amen. Amen. The major out at the rest. Amen. Glad to have you with us tonight. Amen. And Jeremy's here. Jeremy got a new wife. Now I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's the one in the black because I know the rest of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, sister hey. Jeremy. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right. All right. All right. So Jeremy's here tonight. Amen. The Pilgrim Ridge Church family. We want to give him a great first high park welcome. We welcome here him tonight and we give him free reign to preach the word of God. Amen. Come on, Pilgrim Rest. Come on, stand to your feet tonight and let's give Minister Jeremy Robinson a great, great, come on, stand on our feet tonight. Let's give him a great 
First High Park, welcome. Amen. Now the Pilgrim Rest Church family is going to bless us in song, and after they have finished, Minister Robinson will come and share with us what God has given him. Amen. Come on all over the building. Give God the glory and clap of praise. Amen. He's worthy of all praise. Amen. Amen. We're a little short tonight, but we're going to give God glory and give him praise. We come to lift up the name Jesus. Amen. He said, into and to his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with what? Praise. Amen. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. Anybody come to bless him today? Anybody come to bless him this evening? Amen. On a Friday evening. Amen. We made it through another week, y'all. Amen. 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 We thank God for that. Amen. Uh, uh, we're going we, we to we gonna try something here. Amen. Our bass player is on the drums. And, and like Pastor David said, our drummer is in the pulpit tonight. Okay. Steve, you want me to move my mouth? Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 No, you good. You good. You good. You good. Amen. Amen. Okay. Come on, sister. Amen. Come on, give Evangelist Robinson a hand as she comes. Amen. We do bring you greetings from Pilgrim Rest. On tonight, and again we say to Pastor Davis, thank you for this opportunity. Yeah. Pastor Davis, yeah. my brother, yeah. Pastor Skipper, and my son, Minister Jerry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. Yeah. Beautiful job to the babies. It just does something to me, for me, to see children doing kingdom work. All right. Amen. Yeah. And it's just wonderful, awesome to have your family in the same building with you, worshiping with you. My oldest over here and Minister Jeremy, then Candace, niece, my other daughter, Jeremy's wife, and nephews, cousins. So it's a family affair, y'all. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We just want to, Cynthia, relatives, Stephen, we just want to encourage you on tonight. We need to be giving God the praise. In the midst of all that's going on, and Pastor didn't tell me to preach. Come on, y'all, let's give God the praise.
Tiffany this morning when you got out of your bed. Did you remember to say thank you, Lord, for this new day? Since we're all together now, oh Lord, living by His grace. Come on, children, let's give God the praise. Let's give. Let's 
pray for us up here. Amen. We know God is good. We know he's worthy of all praise. Amen. How many know no matter what you're going through, as long as you lean and depend on Jesus, how many know he'll pull you out of whatever it is you're going through? How many know he'll turn the situation around for you? Uh, Y'all come on, talk back to me. How many know that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what? All. So that means every situation that we deal with, every problem that we're faced with, how many know if you apply Jesus to the problem, he will be the final answer? How many know he'll work it out for you? Come on, talk to me now. How many know he'll, I wish I had about five people that tried him and know without a shadow of a doubt that Jesus will work it out in my favor. Amen. How many know he'll turn lemons into lemonade? So all you got to do is trust him lean and depend on him how many know god is able oh come on talk back to me how many really know he's able why don't you look at somebody and say oh neighbor oh neighbor no matter what it looks like no matter what it feels like if you just turn it over take your hand and just turn it over take your hand and just turn it over take your hand and just turn it over just imagine your problems being in the top of your hand. Just turn it over and give it to Jesus. How many know he'll work it out for you? Amen. 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 So we ought to give God praise. We ought to give him glory. Amen. For, for sustaining us another day. Not even a week. Just today. Amen. Amen. Somebody started the day out and didn't make it to see this time right now. This very hour. Anybody grateful for life? Oh, come on. Talk to me. Anybody really grateful for life today? Amen, 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 amen. Y'all give Sister Candace a hand. Amen. She's going to try to. She ain't want to. Amen. Said I'm going to try it, so we're going to try it. Amen. All right, all I think everyone know this song. Y'all come on and help us.
Come on and let's give God some praise in this place on the night. I think I need to say that again. Come on and let's give God some praise in this place on the night. How many of you know in this place that when you praise God, it confuses the enemy? How's everybody doing on the night? How's everybody doing on the night? I, I don't I don't know about you, but uh, every time I, I I get a chance to praise God, I get excited because He's done so much for me. Now, if God has done something for you on tonight, you ought to give Him your best praise in this place on the night. Amen. 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 Just for a minute. We've gotten the Last Supper and we've gone to the cross. How many of you in this place on tonight know that? Jesus' love is, is unfailing. It's an unending love. So the things that we go through, the changes and the chains that had us bound. How I many you know God actually sent his son to pay for our ransom? So just for a minute, listen. My chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior. Guess what he did? He came down and ransomed me. And like a flood, his mercy reigns. An ending love. God's amazing grace, an ending love. God's amazing grace. Somebody ought to let that soak in on tonight. My chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior. Came down and he ransomed me. Hey, yeah. And like a flood, oh, yeah. his mercy reigns. Uh, an ending love. God's amazing grace. An ending love. Ooh, God's amazing grace. Listen, I don't know about you, but I've been through a lot. Can I just sing it for me right now? Listen, my chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior. He came my way down and he ransomed me. Yeah. yeah. But like, like a flood. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. His mercy reigns. Oh, yeah. 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 An ending love An ending love 
unending love. Yeah. God's amazing grace. God's amazing grace. His mercy and his grace. That's what keeps us day by day. I had to get that out. I, 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 you don't know like I know what God has done for me. Um, and, 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 and to my youth, the same thing. You don't know what God has done for me. Um, on tonight, let me back up. Just want to give thanks to Pastor Davis for allowing me to come. Just to share a word with you on tonight. Um, and then my support. My pastor, my uncle, Pastor Skiffer, to my wife, Pastor, and, and the rest of Pilgrim Rest. Just thank you. Thank you for coming. Not going to be before you long, Pastor. I, we already know what what goes on this time of year. And this is Good Friday. You know, we, we all know what happened on Good Friday. We know what happened that Saturday. We know what went on Sunday morning. But just for a few moments, just, just I'm not going to take up too much of that time. And I see we got a lot of youth, Pastor, uh, Pastor so we're going we, we, we to talk to you all too tonight. We're going to look at Matthew. We're going to look at Matthew. All right. Chapter 20. All right. Matthew chapter 20. Yeah. And let's look at verse 28. All right. Matthew chapter 20. Amen. Let's look at verse 28. change something here. All right. I'm going to read from the New King James Version on tonight. Listen. Verse 28. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life ransom for many. All right. Let me read that one more time. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. All right. You may be seated amen, in this place. Amen. Let us let us pray. Lord God, we just want to thank you right now. Thank you. Lord God, thank you for this time that you have allowed me to stand before your people again. You, Lord. Lord God, as I begin to speak, Lord God, take me out of self, Lord yeah. God. Use me, Father God, for I know I'm just a broken vessel that you are using to speak through to your people. Right. Lord God, we'll be mighty mindful and careful to give you all of the honor and all of the praise. Yes, yes. Christ Jesus' name we do pray. Everybody say amen. 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 Matthew chapter 20, verse 28. Just, if you give me at least about 10 minutes, I'll get on out your way. But just for a topic or a subject on today, Jesus paid the price. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, Jesus paid the price. You know, right. we sometimes get wrapped up in the holidays and Christmas and Easter, right ripping and running, trying to get these eggs dyed and candy and all of that. Sometimes we may forget right. what has happened. Yeah. Even on tonight, yeah. it's Good Friday. Yeah. 
Sometimes we may forget what has happened. But how many of you in here tonight know that Jesus paid the price? Yeah. Not only for you, but he did it for the world. Yeah, right. John 3.16 said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Yeah. And whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, yeah. but have everlasting life. That's what the Bible said. Yes, yes. I don't need that, Pastor. I, I do that all the time. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I can step down here? Okay. okay. Yeah. I, I really want to talk to the youth, if that's all right. Uh, Jesus yes. paid the price. You, you, you all was up here, and, and there's other youth in here, too. And, and demonstrating what you know, what you have been taught. All right. All right. But do you actually know why yes, yes, he yes. paid the price? Yes, yes, yes. That's a question. All right. Why did he pay the price yes, yes, for our sins? Yes, yes. Why did he do it? All right. If we step back into Genesis, Pastor, yes, All right now. God created the heavens and the earth. Yeah, yeah. He spoke things into existence. Right, all right. But when he got to us, he said, let us make man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a difference. All right. When he, he, he put the fish in the sea and, and, and the birds in the air and, and, and the, 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 the beast in the field, he spoke it. All right, all right now. But then when he got to us, he said, let us make Make man. Yeah, yeah. So, so with him making us, yeah, we're basically a chip off the old block. Right, because he said in, in his image right. and in his likeness. Yeah. That's what he did for us. Yeah. But I'm going to get to where I'm going in just a minute. All right, but see, he made Adam and then he laid him down and, and, and there was Eve. All, right. all good. In the Garden of Eden, it was all good. Everything was great. Perfect. One rule that he had, yeah. don't touch that tree. Yeah. All right, now. Okay. Don't touch that tree. But let me show you how the devil works. Yeah. He can come in any size and, 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 and any form. Right. Just like I've heard over the years, grass ain't greener on the other side. All no matter right. what you're going through, yeah. grass is not greener on the other side. All right, now. now you got man, yeah. and you got woman. Yeah. Oh, now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go over here. Oh, men, right. we know how it is. All right. And we know that flesh yeah. can do some things. All right, now. But there's man and woman. Yeah. And here it is, the, the, the devil yeah. got who he could get. All right, now. That's what happened. The devil yeah. got who he can get yeah. to where... He could bring the sin actually into the world. I'm talking like that so y'all can understand also. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, so with Adam and Eve sinning and bringing on the sins of the world, yeah. now God is looking and he's saying, they have sinned. Yeah. All right. They have to be condemned. Yeah. So sin is all over the world now. And we're doing this and, 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 and doing that. Now, Now, back in the Old Testament, they had it to where they had to go, go, go find a sacrifice. They had to get a goat or, or, or a sheep or something all right, all right. just to get the blood to have a sacrifice just to cover their sins. Yeah, yeah. But how many of you know in the, old, in, in, in the New Testament, there, there comes Jesus. All right. Come on. Yeah. God did it because of us. Yeah. We are his children. Yeah. Right. He did not want to destroy the earth because he made it. Yeah. And everything with him was good. Yes. So here he is. He, 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 he sends someone down. All right. Mind you, when Adam was made, yes. Adam was made as a man. All right. Adam was made as a man. Yes. When Jesus came, yes. Jesus came in the form of a, 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 a baby. All right. And the reason... That happened was because God wanted us to see and realize that it don't matter who it is right. and where it comes from. You got human form now, and he was sinless. Yeah. 
So we got someone that we can follow. Yes, right. All right. He healed the sick and, 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 and he raised the dead. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you right now, he was on this earth for 33 and a half years. All right. And in those 33 and a half years, God did, Jesus did some miraculous things. Yes, he, did. Yes, he, did. He, he, right. he fed the, the, the 5,000 men plus. With two fish and five loaves of bread. Yeah, yeah. And my favorite one, what he did with the woman with the issue of blood. Right. See, the thing is about Jesus, he already knows. Yeah. But see, she had to press her way yeah. to get to where he was. And all she did was touch the garment. Yeah. Just the hem of his garment. Yeah. She was made whole. Yeah. But see, most of the time, we celebrate the new life. And we skip all of these years. All right, we celebrate the resurrection. Yeah. Yeah. And with that happening, we forget what he has done throughout all of this time that he has been here. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to let somebody know on tonight all right. that Jesus yeah. did it all yeah. for us. Right. Jesus paid the price for us. Yeah. That way we can have a right. To the tree of life. Right. That way we don't have to suffer the consequences for the sins that yes. we have done. Yes. All right. He's a substitute. Yes. He's a substitute for our sins. Pastor, yes. I'm almost done. Yes. We know what substitution means. Right. I'm pretty sure children, grown-ups, we, we love basketball. We, we, right. we love football. Yes. What happens... If someone is lacking or, or someone gets tired, All right now. You, you got that substitute. Yeah. Got that substitute. But in this case, Jesus substituted for our sins. Yes. His flesh, his body, everything was substituted for our sins. He shed his blood for our sins. Right. So he substituted the actual wrath that God would that God will bring on us. But he substituted that for our sins. Yes, yes. All right. Him paying a price. Yes. Thank you, God. Let me use this analogy right here. Go on, go on. Example. All right. We're going to use the prison system. All right. Imagine yourself being locked up. I want you to hear, especially you. Yes. Imagine yourself being locked up. All right. And it's probably been about two or three years. Yes. One day you get a phone call. All right. And the jailer comes in and opens that cell. He says, you're free to go. Yes. And you ask that jailer, what, what, how is that possible? And he says, well, somebody came in and took the rap for you. Yeah. Kind of like Jesus did for us. We were so wrapped up in sin. We were, actually, we were slaved in sin. But Jesus came down and he took on that. Lord, have mercy. He paid that ransom for us. That's what he did. That's exactly what he did. So, so. When we're out here now in this world and, 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 and we see him, we have somebody we can go to to actually repent. Because the Bible do say that we all have sinned and fall short of his glory. But see, since that's happening now, I can get down on my knees and I can pray to Jesus and tell him, Lord, I am sorry. Please forgive me for what I have done. I don't know about you, but see, I know he did it all for me. I'm just 38 years old. All right. I've been yeah. and have done yeah. a lot of things in life right. that I shouldn't have done and that I knew that wasn't right. right. But I want to stop and tell you right now, it's nothing like Jesus. Yeah. Nobody can heal your body but Jesus. Nobody can save you but Jesus. He can do it. 
Mom and daddy can tell you anything, any and everything. Try to get you to do what's right. That woman right there prayed for me many of nights. But that's all she could do was pray. She couldn't stop me because I'm, I was old. I had to stop myself. I had to actually yield and give my, my, my life to Christ. I was saved at a young age. But me being saved, sometimes we stray away. Pastor, you, all, you, you know the song I, I, I used to sing all the time, Winner. Yeah. I strayed away. All right. yeah. Strayed away. Yes. Turning around in circles. And when I say turning around in circles, what I'm talking about was my life. Yeah. Doing this and, 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 and doing that. Getting yeah. a job here. Well, I'm going to do this here. Yeah. Then I'm going to leave that job and go to this job. But guess what? Yeah. All right. He wasn't the head of it. He wasn't ahead of. So it wasn't until I had to be, okay, down in this dark hole, nowhere to go. I felt like mama wasn't treating me right. I felt like daddy wasn't treating me right. All because of the things that they were telling me, which were right, but in my mind it wasn't right. But it wasn't until I looked up. And when I looked up yeah. and I told Jesus, yeah. I'm yours, yeah. he pulled me out of that black hole, yeah. placed my feet on a rock to stay. Yeah. Now that's why I can stand here to tell you today, I'm glad that he paid the price for me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. 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 That price that he paid. He didn't pay it with money. All right. He didn't pay it with the craft and, 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 and the talents he had. Uh, come on now. You know, Jesus was a carpenter. Yeah. He didn't pay it with that. All right. But he paid it with himself. Yeah. See, 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 one thing you have to understand and realize is that God sent him down in human flesh. Yeah. Again, like I said before, so that way we can have someone we can look at. Yeah. And he did it again for our sins. All right. So just imagine. I don't know if, if, if you all have watched The Passion of the Christ. I don't know about you, but I cried with that. Yeah. Just to see how, how, how dark and, 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 and gruesome that there was to actually see a man. And all the things that he took for yeah. us. All, right. all the things that he took for us. Yeah. The beatings, the, 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 the crown of thorns on his head. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know and I don't know how much that hurt. Yeah. I can only say, well, I've been sick before. I've been down before. All right. All right. But I've never in my life had flesh falling from my bones. I've never in my life had, had, had a crown of thorns on my head. Yeah, yeah. But he did all of that for us. Yeah. He hurt Mama. for us. All right. But what do we give him? Yes. What do we give him? On, Some of us, we, we, we'll walk around here and get these new jobs and, 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 and new cars and everything, and we think that God owes us everything. Mama. But I come to come tell on. you right now that we don't, he don't owe us nothing. We owe him everything. Yeah. We owe God everything, yeah. all because of his son, yeah. someone that he set down for us, yeah. just for my little raggedy self. All right now. But he did it because, God did it because he loved me. He, he is my creator. He knows how many hairs I have on my head. Yeah. He knows my thoughts before I can even think them. Right. That's the God we serve. Yeah. But he did it just for me. He yeah. did it for you. Yeah. Jesus paid the price. Right. I can go in the store all day and pay that money to get what I want. All right now. But Jesus couldn't pay no money yeah. for my life. Come on, son. 
He had to give himself up. All right. He had to shed that blood. Yeah. Just so he could take my black soul and dip it in that red blood to where I can be washed white as snow. Yeah. That's what he did for me. Yeah. I don't know what he's done for you, but that's what he did for me. Yes, yes. Amen. And on the night, All right. just want to let you know, Pastor, I'm done. All right. Just want to let you know, All right. in school, uh, yeah. I was y'all's age. Want to be cool. All right now. And to actually talk about church, mm. Jesus Christ, mm. wasn't happening. Uh -huh. Wasn't happening. Yeah. But the, the younger you start, Come on, man. Come on. All right. the better your life will be. Yeah. The younger you start, Believing, trusting, talking about it, yes. the better your life will be. All right. Prime example with me. At the age of 17, All right. I knew this where I was supposed to be. Uh -huh. yes. But I waited. I ran. Uh -huh. I waited. I ran. Uh -huh. all, those, all of those blessings yeah. that I could have had. At that age, coming up, guess what? I don't have them. Come on, come on, come on. I don't have them at all. So what I'm trying to tell you right now, you all being young, Jesus already paved the way. He, he paid the price for you. One thing about it, salvation is free. You ain't got to pay for it. God paid for it already. He paid for it for you. All you got to do is walk in his light. Yes, yes. Be who you need to be yes. for Christ. Not for your friends. All right, all right. Not for your brother. Yes. Not for your sister. But you yes. be who you need to be for Christ. Yes. And your blessings. Your blessings will start coming down. Your blessings will start flowing. You'll have a better mindset of oh, it. Within and everything. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's what happens when, when, when you give your life to Christ. Yeah. But it's all because he paid that price. Yeah. But without him paying that price, if he didn't pay that price, watch this. Do you know God, G Jesus could have really gotten up and said, I don't want to do this. Do you know God could have said, well, I'm going to send you down here. I'm going to let all this stuff happen to you, but I'm not going to let you hurt. Yeah. I, can, I can have them to whip you. I, I can have them to do all that thing. You just fake it. Mm. Because I'm God, and I'm sending you down just to take on the sins of the world, but I'm not going to let you hurt. Come on, come on, come on. But I want to tell somebody right now, yeah. here on tonight, especially y'all, he had to suffer. Yes. He had to hurt because how downright deep dirty that we, we are, he had to suffer. So that way, all of our sins all right now. could actually be forgiven. We don't have to go through that punishment all, right. all because of Jesus Christ. For him paying the price for our lives. All right. We know today, tonight is Good Friday. Yes. We know he was in the Garden of Gethsemane and, and he was getting ready to be crucified. Yes, yes. I mean, you know that he, he I, I, don't, I feel like he did not want to do it. Yes. But he said, Father, yes. it be thy will. Let this cup pass. Yes. Right. But nevertheless, not my will, yes. but God's will be done. Yes. God's will, yes. not our will, All right. but God's will yes. Yes. be done yes. in our lives, in your life. All right. Look at your neighbor. I'm done, Pastor. Look at your neighbor and say, Jesus, Jesus. Paid, the price. paid the price. Come on, give him some praise in this yeah. place.
Amen. Standing all over the building. Amen. Standing all over the building. The doors of the Lord's house is open in this house. Jesus has paid it all. And all to him I owe. Jesus paid it all. Can you come to Jesus tonight just as you are? Will you trust him tonight? 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 You didn't have enough money to pay for your sins. Something about the night, But it was but his blood. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus paid it all. He paid it all. He paid it. Will you trust him tonight? Will you trust him tonight? Will you trust him tonight? Amen. It is the sweetest name. Sweet name I know. Something about the name Jesus. God bless you. May be seated in this place. you did. Up next we'll have recognition of visitors by Sister Taylor Graham. Please stand and state your church home. Your name and your church home. I'm sorry. Okay, everybody else. Okay. Um, thank you all for coming out today. Again, we are a little church with a big heart where a stranger meets a friend and Jesus Christ meets us all. Thank y'all. Doing. Thank y'all for coming out. This, this has truly been a good Friday. It's un, good, good is really an understatement. It's, it's been a great Friday. Uh, we sometimes forget uh, the uh, the reason why we come here. You know, Jesus Jesus paid the price. He truly did uh, pay the price. And uh, I want to thank you, uh, Minister Robinson, for for giving that message. But you most definitely need to hear it. Uh, we all have had a rough past and did some things, you know, we weren't supposed to do. So uh, I want to I want to thank you for that message. Uh, thank you, uh, Pilgrim Ridge, for singing for us. That was y'all did a wonderful job. Let's get them a hand clap. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Man. Come on, man. Um, I also want to thank my staff. I have some of my staff here. Can y'all please stand for me? I got, I, uh, the rest of them are in the bag. They're preparing the food and everything. Um, uh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. I really believe I have the best staff. They, they work tirelessly uh, from, from the uh, costumes 
to the to the making sure that the the children knew their parts. You saw they they really weren't reading from any script or anything. They they memorized, and that's something that we we try our best to work work on them with. So uh, thank you to my staff. Thank y'all. Um, let's see what else I see here. Oh, um, before I pass uh, pass it to Pastor, um, we are having a uh, barbecue sale. April 22nd from 11 to 2 p.m. We will have ribs, sausage, wings, and, and this the works with it. We call it the works. Uh, so if y'all please inspire youth ministry so we can uh, continue to do what we do for them. If y'all not busy, y'all get hungry, please come by. We will be here from 11 to 2 p.m. Uh, April 22nd. Thank you. Here you go. Thank y'all for coming out again. You too? Now we will have now we will have um, close remarks by my pastor, Dr. Terry L. David, the world's greatest pastor. Amen. That's why I had to have you have your closing. Introduce everybody else. You got to introduce me. Amen. Amen. That's Christiana. That's my buddy. Amen. That's that's part of macaroni and cheese. Amen. 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 Thank God. Great job, Christiana, for leading us through. Thank you so very much. Amen. She's a college student out there at Hines Community College, and we're we're grateful for her. Thank God for her leading us through. Amen. Thank you, Brother Jackson, who is the director of our youth ministry. Thank you so very much, along with all of your staff. You got a, you got a working staff. You, you got a, you got a mud law that just keep on moving. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you for your staff. Thank you for your work. Thank God for all of our youth who do the excellent job. God bless you, real, real, real good. Amen. Again, thank God for our guests tonight. We thank God for Minister Jeremy Roberts. Come on, show him some love. Amen. 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 When you come here, just be you. Amen. If you want to walk all the way back, y'all, come on back. Just walk, man. Amen. Do what you got to do to get it out. Amen. Thank you so very much. Amen. Thank God for uh, that Pilgrim Rest Choir and all the, the saints of Pilgrim Rest. Thank you. So good to see you again. God bless you real good, and to the great Pastor Pilgrim Rest, amen. Uh, Pastor Kenny Ray, amen. Pastor, amen. Amen. You want to share something, Pastor? All right, amen. Well, I can call him Pastor Kenny Ray. That's what, that's, that's my son, amen. We got that thing. We, 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 we go way back, amen. Amen. So grateful to have him uh, with us on tonight along with our son, uh, Miss Taylor and our, our daughter, Dr. Dennis, God bless all of you. Uh, real, real good. Lady Davis is in the house today. Bless her little heart. Amen. Bless her little heart. She she came through tonight. She was looking a little different. She asked how did I look. Amen. I just started to stay on at the house, but I said, we better go on, we better go on church. Amen. <laughs> Amen. She won't know how she looked. That's, you know. Amen. God bless you now. God bless you real good. We're getting ready to go down from this place. Uh, uh, the youth minister, uh, Brother Ali's staff, have prepared, prepared uh, uh, refreshments in the back. Amen. Amen. So come on back and let's uh, get some refreshments there and, uh, and, uh, and uh, fellowship. Amen. Before we get back on the road and get back home. I'm sorry. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. The rest is going. Amen. They, they going. Amen. We got plenty of food for the rest. Amen. Amen. Says so Blackman says, let them go first. Amen. Says so, brother, I, I told you, you got your mother law cheese. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Sister Blackman. She's doing a great job. Amen. Thank you so much. For your for your work, we're getting ready to go now. Thank you so very much. Uh, yes, it is. Yes,
Amen. Thank you, Sister Davis and Brother. brother. But Joey over there, he's still on the keys, man. And Fred Casey, uh, Fred Casey, how you doing, Casey? Very good. All right, man. All right. Now you got a new brother back there. I didn't raise him, so I don't know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jeremy, too? That's Cousin Jeremy. Okay, Cousin Jeremy. Glad to have you tonight. God bless you, man. Thank you all so very much for coming. We'll get ready to go down from this place. Minister Jeremy's going to come. Uh, let us go and bless the food, and uh, we shall go down from this place and uh, be waiting for a resurrection Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. Come on, give a hand to the time. Amen. Amen. Before we leave, this, listen, I'm going to tell you how God works. Everything I had up here on tonight, when I walked in and I seen you all, while I was sitting there, when I came up here, God changed all of it. He changed the whole thing. But that's something he will do. Especially when you trust in him and, and, and you actually yield and, and give your life to him like we're supposed to. Um, that type of stuff can happen. So that's, that's Sister Davis, that's, that's why I came down. Um, I've been there, you all been there, but, but I look at me, um, I, I, I got the best of both worlds. I got the old school. I'm just 38. I got the old school, and, and here's this new school stuff. So when, 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 when you bring that old school in with that new school and you combine them together, you can reach them. It's, it's, you, you really can. Again, Granny Point, thank you for my wife there. Wave your hand, lady in the black. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but again, thank you, Pilgrim Rest. Pa uh, Pastor Tate, you know it's time to go, but I'm, I'm going to tell you what, what happens most of the time. It's, it's, it's still been a while, but I can still look back and it's like Uncle Kent. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I got to get that pastor down all right, all right. just to see his face behind me. It's, it's um, so, yeah, yeah, excuse me, but thank God for Uncle Kent for, for, for coming on up today, Mama and, and Granny. All right, man. But, Pastor, if that's it, that's it musician, appreciate it. Right. If that's it, let us stand. Amen. Just a quick prayer. Lord God, we just come to, again just to say thank you, Father God. Lord God, thank you for this time of fellowship and, and, and worship that you have allowed us to actually be in on tonight, Lord God. Lord God, as we begin to depart from this place, Father God, Lord God, be our, our shields and, 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 and direct us, Father God, on these dangerous highways, Father God. And Lord God, as, as we begin to... to worship and, and praise you for the rest of this this weekend yes, yes. lord god instill and steal and 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 remind us that it's all because of your son jesus christ and lord god as as we prepare to go lord god bless the the food father god bless the hands that prepared it lord god just so that it'll be a nourishment to our bodies and that we can go on a little further in your name in Christ Jesus' name, we do pray. Everybody say amen. 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 amen.